Hello, I may quit YouTube. YouTube told me that on February 20th, they will put their new requirements into motion. And those new conditions ap apply to the YouTube Partner Program. And apparently I'm a part of the YouTube program. I can monetize my videos. I have end cards and I have cards, or I mean end screens. I have end, end screens and cards or something like that. Um, I don't even use them anymore, but anyway. So their new requirements are 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time in the past 12 months. I checked, I have about 1,500 watch hours in the previous 12 months. And of course, I don't have 1,000 subscribers. I only have, I don't know, 216, I don't remember. So this really sucks. I can't earn money off YouTube anymore. Well, I can right now. And that's part of why I'm making a video. But, yeah. I mean, that really sucks. Like, will I keep earning money on the videos that I already have? Or will it just stop completely? I hate YouTube for doing this. This is so mean. And I guess I should have moved to vid VidMe, even though VidMe crashed. I can't... VidMe just stopped completely. The good and bad of Shovel Knight. There's this game called Shovel Knight. I got it a long time ago. But I didn't play it very much. And now I've kind of returned to the game here on and off. Um, yeah. I play stages. Like... I've played this through stuff like a water thing, a lava thing, and most recently, I beat the castle that is full of mechanical properties. I beat the boss in that game, in that in that castle, and that took me a long time. And of course, I beat it while watching Destiny talk about. Is it morally right to shoot someone who enters your house or something like that? Kill. Kill, that is. Yeah. His latest video. So, what I was going to talk about was the good and bad of Shovel Knight. Because Shovel Knight is not a good game. I hate how overrated it is. And I'm ashamed to admit that I got Shovel Knight because... Every because other people were saying that it was good. And I've learned from that. I never buy games anymore. Um, so, Shovel Knight sucks. And there are some reasons why. Number one. The music is as... I... is, is as annoying to the ears as my music is. I think it's because it's 8-bit, or apparently it's not 8-bit, but on an 8-bit console, I don't know, it's still 8-bit though, like, isn't it? I don't know. But that's how it is, and it's it causes like a headache, pretty much. My music causes a headache, because I don't know. And Shovel Knight's music is in the same ways, like that. Yeah, it has the same properties. Another reason is that... Oh no, my stupid phone. Anyway, the graphics are also eye-draining. See, in this game, in Mega Man, it's good. In Shovel Knight, it's annoying to look at. It, it's too much, pretty much. It's too detailed. Um, or something. I don't know what it is. Loxton can articulate this better. 
Even though he probably doesn't agree with me, he probably loves Shovel Knight's art. Because... That's what you do. So how many E-Tanks do I have? I have two E-Tanks. I'll, I'll go down here anyway. So... Here we are. Bows. Yeah. Green, red. Green light on steam. I've always had many video game ideas. And so many through the years. I had this one idea called Apple Picker. Where you go... I actually have some art of this when I tried to make it in Scratch. For some reason at one point I think I was gonna make it in the Game Boy Colors. Like not the Game Boy Color but the regular Game Boy so only four colors. That would have been so ugly. Or maybe I'm remembering this incorrectly. But anyway, that was the game Apple Picker. You pick apples and then there was this bird that was gonna attack you. You throw a rock at it. Very violent I know PETA wouldn't approve. I actually used PETA once as a source in my argumentative speech about horse riding and how it's morally bad. And I still believe it, so if you have any arguments against that, leave it in the comments. Look at these tubes right here. They look like sausages. And then there's this lamp right here. I don't know much about lamps. They're pro- they're... They use electricity, I'm pretty sure. Oh no. Do I not follow that one? I thought I followed these. Or maybe I'm confused. Okay, so... Shovel Knight. It's also just very- Okay, here's one strong point I have. The dialogue is extremely boring. Why? Why dialogue? The dialogue is so... I mean, it's cheesy, but not in a funny way. It's just... boring. It's... It's... it's unoriginal. It's soulless. I don't... I don't understand how anyone... could be interested in the dialogue in Shovel Knight. Like, Shovel Knight says something like, Oh man, you're so... evil. You're correct. Yeah, stop. And the king's like, oh, whoa, whoa, I'm the boss, or something. It's so boring. A game that actually has good dialogue is Misha Unlimited. I think it's called Misha's new game. It's not that new right now. It was created before Christmas, I'm pretty sure. Um, but it's really good. Unfortunately, I'm not playing it anymore, because, well, I got a new phone, so, um, and the progress is not saved, so, I just didn't feel like it. That game has actually, actually has good dialogue. Like, it's good. I, I want to, it's, it's fun reading the dialogue in Misha game. See, I follow them, don't I? So why did it not follow? So, 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 I, I don't know, the problem is I can't come up with stuff to talk about. So anyway, I will admit that Shovel Knight, yeah, that's a good concept, like, you use a shovel or something, and then Gaijin Goomba's like, oh yeah, ninjas use the shovels all the time, or something like that. So it's all, it's a nice and good concept, I like that concept. Maybe. It's a little boring. But maybe that's just because I've seen it. I've seen Shovel Knight so many times. Or I don't know. There is no reason. But. Shovel Knight. Uh, I don't remember what I was going to say. Um, I guess I'll just make a pause here. Oh no. Okay. See, I follow it. I don't follow it. See, I follow it. What do I do there? Won't it fall off? Oh yeah, that's the... And then I can jump from the fallen state. 
That looks like a sword. Can you see it? Anyway, there's something I was gonna say about Shovel Knight. Right, 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 I remember now. The fireplace. So after a stage, sometimes you wake up at a fireplace, maybe all the time, I don't, I'm not sure. You wake up at a fireplace. Um, or something like that, and yeah, and then you you can go up to the fireplace and I'm not, I don't know if it's, it's a fireplace or if it's just like a, a fire. It's a fire, not a fireplace. It's a fire. So you go up to the fire, the rotten fire, go up to the like the cooled off fire, only ashes left, and for some reason you can dig treasure out of the ashes. That makes no sense. Why would there be treasure there? That makes no sense. Maybe the key to winning in this Mega Man game is to use my actual power-ups. I don't know, that feels like quite a weird, I mean not weird, weak part of Mega Man games. Just power-ups. I mean, does anyone actually use them? Yeah, they're pretty good actually. Uh, yeah, Shovel Knight. I will, I must say some good things about the game though. At least it has audio controls. Or options, rather. Or something, I don't know. Yeah. It has low volume, so I can watch Destiny. While I play. Or something else. Like... You know, some stupid stuff. So... Because Squirreltopia... A game that I didn't even purchase, but I have it on Steam. I don't remember. There was this... Person on YouTube... That did like a giveaway... She hid games, like Steam codes or something, for a bunch of presents of games. In her, he, she hid them in her videos, um, r just random videos, and I found one of them. So I got Squirreltopia. It was awesome, and I've played Squirreltopia. I've beaten the first and second worlds. I'm pretty sure. I'm on the third world at least. And Squirreltopia doesn't have audio options. So it's very loud. Um, which is not fun. But maybe there is some way. Maybe I'm just not very tech savvy and there's actually a way to... To lower the volume on Google Chrome. Or rather... Maybe you can adjust the volume of everything in some weird panel window that I don't know of. I have four E-Tanks. It is E-Tank time. Can you hurry up, please? So here we go. I can keep using the ring. So... Maybe not, actually. It's okay. Too early. Hopefully I spawn close by. So anyway, I looked this. D I looked at definitions on Google per usual, and I saw that circa on circa circa the English word is from Latin, directly from Latin, and it's often used before a date. So I guess I should use approximately. When it comes to non-date stuff. So that's what happened. And I'm also reading holes, of course. Even though I've already read it. And it's quite an interesting book. Yeah, so when I was reading it today. I was on this chapter. And it was like... Sam selling some onions. Eight cents a dozen and somebody paid in a dime with a dime and was like and Sam was like I don't take charity but but you can buy I can you can buy some extra onions for Mary Lou over here so the customer agreed was like okay give me my change in onions and Sam did it he gave her three onions. So I actually did the math, and yeah, that is right. 
two cents would be worth three onions. Because you divide eight, you divide eight by twelve, and that gives you some stupid number like with a bunch of decimals. But that's besides the point. Why is it dark? I don't understand. There we go. Why was it dark? That makes no sense. Wait a minute. Am I supposed to use? Okay, I can use drill. It's not something I'm gonna need later. Well, that was super fast. Not cool. Just give me a game over already. This video is getting very long. Yeah, I should probably stop now. I mean, I realized that I'm not just, um, I'm gonna have to watch through this later. Because I watch all my videos that I, before I put them up on YouTube. So, I'm just wasting time right now. And nobody watches this. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, so... You get some number from 8 divided by 12. And then you multiply it by 3. And you get... No, you multiply it by 2. And you get 3. Onions. Exactly. So 2 cents... Gives 3 onions. So it was completely correct. And the dime is worth 10 cents. And again, 8 cents for a dozen. So she bought a dozen and got three onions for the change and fed them to Mary Lou. Great. Very, very great. I'm still alive. I can't believe this. There had better be the boss at the end of that ordeal. I'm telling you. Wow, there are like rainbows in the background. Cool. Okay. These jumpy guys. I appreciate their service. Oh, come on. I don't even know. Maybe I should just pause here. And see what happens. I don't remember what the pause hotkey is. Maybe I can just record and then cut. Something like that. I can definitely do that. So I'm right here. I, I may just like cut now. Because you're probably not interested anyway. I can just play. Oh no, I died. No, no, no. Please don't. I died. Goodbye.